Hello, FPS back with another video trying to improve your FPS on every game and we are on to Valorant. So we went ahead and tested every single setting for this game, specifically the display settings and we have the best settings here. This is a game that always looks fairly good because of its high saturation. So we're able to turn things down a little bit, but I'm gonna explain to you guys every single display and graphic setting that you should change depending on your computer because we tested this on a low end PC and a high end PC. Both are drastically different. And of course we took pro players and used their settings because of course they know better usually than any of us that's just a guideline for this so we're going to start off with the valorant settings and then i'm also going to bring you guys to the window settings on the main screen and these are the settings that are going to give you that extra boost of fps without having to do much it's just a few things we'll do that at the end of the video so the first thing we're going to do is go over to our settings wheel and we are going to get into the settings screen and go straight to video get to the general tab and we are going to start with the top three things here so i'm going to go ahead and assume that you want maximum fps and that's that's exactly what we're going to do. So to get that, you want this on full screen all the time. Windowed and Windows full screen, there's advantages to it, such as you're able to alt tab really fast and get out to your desktop faster, but your frame hit is substantial and full screen is the way to go. Resolution 1920 by 1080. If you're on a decent computer, I highly recommend this, but you will see if you're on a low end laptop, if you're on a low end PC that you're going to probably want to go downsize. 1680 by 1050 looks okay. It's obviously you take a hit on the looks of the game to get these great frames which helps you perform better but it does decrease clarity image clarity and things of that nature the next step would be 1280 by 800 i don't think you have to resort to this but you could resort to 1680 by 1050 and it'll do just fine for you that's what i would do if you're on a very low end pc if you are on a dual monitor setup you have to pick the one that's on the highest hertz so in my case mine has up to 280 hertz so i go ahead and click that and we are up to 280 now aspect ratio method to have this on fill and as for everything else we could pretty Pretty much have it off the only thing that i like to turn on is limit fps and menus sometimes i do go with afk i don't want my gpu and my computer in general all the hardware to be working hard whenever i'm not playing inside of the game so limiting in menus and limiting in background is something that i will do and just turn it on 60. so now we'll move on to the graphics quality so the few things that we're going to have on for every computer multi-threaded rendering you're going to want to have this on there's never a time where you're going to want this off really high-end pcs benefit the most from this this allows your computer Computer to enable multi-threaded rendering, which means it uses all the cores in the CPU, GPU, etc. Now, as for what we were talking about earlier in what the game looks like versus high versus low, the FPS hit is not very big on these, but the look and clarity of this isn't worth it. You don't get much anything from bringing this from low to high. For these four, I would have these all on low. So material quality, low, texture quality on low, detail quality on low, UI quality on low. Now, a lot of these competitive games are pretty much set to be all low. There's a few things that we change here, and I got this idea from a few pro players. The next two are going to be low as well, but V-Sync specifically, we want off. V-Sync sounds good in theory, and a lot of people look at it like it's a good thing, and it could be for games that aren't first-person shooters, but what V-Sync does is it doesn't allow your screen to tear, which is a good thing. However, it also increases your input delay, which is not a good thing when you're playing FPS shooters, where every little millisecond counts, and if you're getting slowed down a little bit by your computer and the tearing, that could get you killed. So turn this off. It should be only on on games that it does not matter how fast your eyes can react to the screen. So maybe sports games and stuff of that nature. Anti-aliasing. So this is one that I always see on none, but MSAA 2X is the alternative. If you don't like the way that anti-aliasing looks on none, which is a little bit jaggy on the edges, I would do MSAA 2X. If you're on old hardware, FXAA works very well for old hardware if you do want anti-aliasing on. It also works well on AMD hardware, something I've noticed. Otherwise, on NVIDIA, newer cars or anything of that nature, it's going to make it look blurry by doing FXAA. So I would have it on none or MSAA 2X. Your filtering setting can just be on 1X, no need for even anything higher. So a thing that I like to emphasize is having great FPS and also having clarity. So improved clarity, I like to have this on. I think this could be on for most computers and it won't take too big of a frame hit for very low end PCs that you need every frame just go ahead and turn it off it doesn't matter too much but I did see a difference whenever I compared this from a wall with it on versus a wall with it off it really makes a difference once you get longer range I would say 20 plus meters and then you're really really going to see a difference in this clarity as for everything else I have them all off so the only ones I want to touch on is bloom I don't want bloom on bloom has everything to do with lighting you can hover over this and read the description but you don't really want this in Valorant 
think there are a few games where you're going to want this for tactical advantages but this is an issue with valorant because the light always reflects off your weapon which actually drastically will decrease your fps all the time because you're always holding a weapon in valorant i would be against turning on distortion i'd have this off this is only any explosives orbs anything of that nature this is going to affect your frames per second so in a more intense scenario where a lot of stuff is popping off you're going to find your frame takes a hit in one of the most important times of the game so i'd have this off cast shadows is essentially first person shadows we don't want these on you don't need them you're still going to see shadows of the environment as it says here environment third person characters you'll still see everything of that all this is is first person shadows and shadows take a huge hit on the graphics card and ram so that's the graphics quality that i like to go with on low for pretty much everything else we change a few things down here but valorant is pretty straightforward and low works very well and does not really make too big of a difference from all high to all low if you compare it side by side it looks pretty good as for this stats thing right here the thing i like to show is the fps the server tick rate sometimes matters but i like to just have the fps and clean up the screen but that's everything for the in-game settings now we're going to go ahead and move to the windows settings also a tip on how to make your screen look better by your amd software or your nvidia software depending on whatever one you have so if you've never watched my videos before you've probably have never seen any of these things but we're going to start off with the obvious ones that you might have seen which is game mode settings this is something that you have to test for yourself but generally you're going to want to have this on if you're on nvidia and generally you're going to want to test this if you're on amd if you're ever stuttering with an amd card turn this off otherwise you might get a half frame or up to four frames per second just by doing this what this essentially is doing is turning off all of your background apps another thing we want to do just to make sure is we want to type in background get to background apps click on this and this will probably be checked on you're going to want to check this off and this will make sure everything here is not playing in the background while you're playing your game what this is taking is memory ram pretty much all things that are going to affect your frame so go ahead and turn off your background apps now i want you to go back to your search things so hit it, your windows key and go ahead and search graphic settings what this is going to do is pop up a menu and essentially what this menu does is lets you find desktop apps put them as high performance and high priority on your computer we already have a few set up on everything that we've already done so far so go ahead and hit browse you just need to find wherever your game file is find the valorant file and double click on it and then it'll pop up into here you can hit options once you hit options turn this on high performance high performance will not make your computer any hotter it's not going to do anything like that it's just prioritizing it for the graphics so now that we have that we have one more thing to do and this is a very important thing but we go power and sleep so power and sleep come over here you're going to see this this is going to be your sleep timer this doesn't matter for gaming go over here to additional power settings click on this and you will see a bunch of options if you don't see options hit create a power plan and you could create a high performance power plan in my case i don't need to do that but i'm just going to hit high performance power plan and this is going to favor performance over energy saving i'm more concerned about your frame rates rather than your energy bill that's for you up to decide but high performance it shouldn't make a difference anyways but it will help your frames now finally i want to make your game look really good so if you're on an amd card you're going to see exactly what i see amd radeon settings when you right click on your mouse if not you'll see nvidia in this case we're on an amd card the video will be very similar but you need to find just the graphics tab the display tab whatever it is and go to a custom color so i went ahead and found valorant and now i can make a custom color and a custom sharpness for this game so this game looks really good at a 30 sharpness and another thing to make your game look good this is going to depend on your monitor entirely is you could adjust the saturation so the saturation will improve the brightness of the game and not the actual brightness but the brightness of the colors so the colors will pop more valorant doesn't need it too much but if you have a very dull monitor this could be a thing that you do my monitor is very bright in my case so i just keep custom color off but if you do wish you could just turn this up i don't recommend ever going to like 200 but you can turn it up a little bit and get that color that you really want but that is all hopefully we improved your frames let me know what your frames were before and let me know what they are now additionally if you're looking for a new computer i have three builds down there a low end a mid end and a high end pc all the build parts they stay updated and they'll continue to be updated even if you're watching this a year down the line i'll continue to update these as new graphics cards comes out new cpus new ram etc the low end pcs are very hard to get right now due to the gpu shortage and the chip shortage in general so building a pc is pretty expensive right now but nonetheless that is all down below but as always it's been your boy fps and i hope y'all have a great day please subscribe and have a fantastic rest of your day